So Jim Crockett came to me and says, I want to do an NWA tournament. I want to restart NWA in Texas, where I live. But we have no TV. Nobody in the NWA has TV. The only reason I was a member there is because Eddie Gilbert, when we first started, said, it's nothing to join. It's a couple hundred bucks. But if you put NWA in front of Eastern, at least people have heard of NWA. No one's heard of Eastern. It might get us more credibility. Which is the time it did. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, all right. And uh, after a while, we didn't need it anymore. Mm. And me and Paul, and we really didn't need the NWA. And uh, uh, Crockett says, please, can we do this tournament? That way, whoever it is, you keep the champion, and then we can eventually do a tag team tournament. And I'd like to have the tag team champions be my guys who work here in Texas, so at least have something to build something uh, thing on. Sure. I said, okay, I, I guess. And I thought, I think to myself, like anybody else was at that time, Jim Crockett. Guys like the Big Mahoff. 100%, all right. Yes, WCW. Are you, kid, are you kidding me? So mm. when he asked me that, I assume he's speaking on behalf of the old. NWA. Mm. A week goes by, and all of a sudden, the tour the observers are all putting these interviews up with Dennis Carter going, I never agreed to this. I didn't go to them. <laughs> he gave me me. I'm not going to have this. We're not going to have any tournament. It's over. Like, and I thought, are you fucking kidding me? Like, we've already put money in this. We were trying to get people that would look like they were from around the world. Dean Malenko, Two Cold Scorpio, uh, uh, for the Benoit was in it, wasn't it? Hmm? Was Benoit in that as well? I don't think so. It was um, Shane Scorpio. Shh, I gotta kill him here. Yeah, if, you, if you look over the internet, you find a fair and I will. It's like it'll take you three seconds to find the eight competitors. Nine one one. Um, Malenko, his first time in. It's hard to. I'm trying to like just quickly. Uh, here you go. I'm gonna bring it up now. Uh, world title tournament. Uh, D. Malenko, Osmanu Nishimura. Nishimura, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Doink the Clown, nine one one. Shane Douglas, Taz, Scorpio, Benoit. Cactus Jack and Mikey Whipwreck and the uh, uh, against the public enemy. Yeah, that was a tag team match, but the tournament yeah. was just guys. Nice. Yeah, yeah ben, that was just a tournament. Sorry, the Benoit Malenko. I mean, it was talent the tournament. Yeah, stacked. We're, we're stacked. Really, the seem as though it was really legitimate world tournament at the time. We we're doing this just to crown an NWA ECW champion kind of thing. Yeah, and then this was she said, "You better go for me." If I say no, it's not. I'm on. Dude, like I would not have. I spent money on TV promoting this weeks. Mm. I didn't ask you guys ever to do that. You're, I thought, President Crockett came to me and said, "Would you do this for us?" Mm. Are you gonna shit on me like that after all the other things you've done? The tires, the fire marshals. Are you kidding me? So that's what we said. You know what? I guess it's pause. I do. We got. I got an idea. He said, but. Shh. It's, you know, sh lighting shit on fire. It's like, it's a crazy idea, man. Because that, you know how I am. I said, all right, tell me the idea. As long as you're not really lighting the building on fire, I, I had to put that out of more than a few times. Yeah. What is it? He said, how about we get our guy, we pick a guy, and he throws, it in, throws the title down, and we just say, hey, fuck the end of the day. We're now also a national company, not Eastern. We're extreme. Easter was local. Mm. But extreme. What the fuck? Uh, he's, trust me. You're like two years away from everything being extreme. Extreme sports, extreme business, extreme. 100%. And it, it wasn't a word, basically. It was a word, but it wasn't something that people used towards anything else at the time. Mm. How, he, he was that far ahead of the game. That's how smart he was. That's crazy. That that that's crazy. And like, I, I remember like originally seeing that NWA thing with Shane throwing the title down and, and the promo. And I think it's probably one of the most iconic moments in professional wrestling history for a lot of things. Because like at the time, the NWA 
didn't really hold the prestige that it did years prior and like like honestly and if you look back at the history books like the nwa wasn't really you know at the peak around that time was it oh not at all the 60s and 70s thing with jack briscoe and jerry briscoe and um the funks it was a big that's when it was big now yeah. it's like a shell of itself it's just something that still is hanging out there and nobody was using it they had their own federations but nobody had tv except us yeah so we thought yeah like the only thing i worried about was one person i worried about offending terry funk because i i love terry funk he wrote uh, the four, he wrote the forward to my book that's really funny. yeah terry funk wrote the forward to my book that's beautiful yeah i love that guy so i worried about offending him i said you think he'll be upset like i really don't care about anybody else in the past our whole thing is we're anti-establishment we're the first people to go on tv and say hey all Hogan sticking needles in his ass like like we acknowledged other federations no tv show ever acknowledged any of the wrestling but their own we broke that wall down 